all right guys welcome back to the channel very exciting day today this is my first extended ride on my new legend revos not revo a's legend revos let's go and roll that intro and let's get some initial impressions roll it Alright, so welcome back. If you clicked on the thumbnail today, you know exactly what we're talking about, and that is Legend Suspension. I've had so many people in my life say, you gotta do suspension, you gotta do suspension, you gotta do suspension. And I kept always doing other things. I kept doing cosmetic things, bars, those things along those lines. But man, I tell you what, suspension is where it's at. So, so take it from me. Don't do what I do and make it one of the last things you upgrade. Make it one of the first. I'm only technically halfway through upgrading my suspension at this point. I still have the fronts to do, but that's a subject for another day as far as what I'll end up going with. Got to work it out with the pocketbook, you know, right? So a little bit of the history as far as what I've been using for shocks on my 2009 Harley Davidson Dyna Lowrider. Of course, it comes with stock shocks. Shocking. Oh, look at the fun. <laughs> Not funny, I don't know. I'm so ashamed. <laughs> Honestly, I, didn't, I always just thought motorcycles rode rough. No, it is what it is. There's nothing I can really do to fix that. I mean, motorcycles meant to be out in the wind and, and rugged and, you know, just man with nature and blah, 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 blah every other cliche that's out there midway through the last season i did go ahead and i showed out about 200 dollars for a set of harley emulsion shocks which can be found right here and as you can see they retail for about 600 bucks 600 bucks is a hefty price tag for a shop so when i got them at 200 i thought i got them in a steal and i did they are a good shop i don't want to discredit anything about that shock on this ride here today they were a very good shock they were set up for me my dad says one side was maybe a little bit differently balanced than the other okay i'll give them that i can see it <laughs> but uh they were a good shock they were a huge huge upgrade over the stock suspension and so i've always seen the olins the fox racing the legends i've always seen these suspensions out there they're always it's just so expensive you know for a brand new set of what i'm running right now i'm gonna drop 750 dollars and i would say that's down well worth the price of admission too because man i i don't know what it is but the bike just feels completely completely transformed again Everything I do with the bike seems to transform a little bit, but this is like riding a whole new bike. I can't wait to ride my dad's uh, Harley Davidson Fat Boy. It's from 2002, but it's still got all the, like, the bells and whistles of stock to it. It's got that, that comfortness to it. I would almost bet that this ride that I am feeling right now here today is almost, not necessarily is, but is almost as comfortable as that would be guys i'm not feeling bumps like i used to I, i'm looking for them and i'm hitting them and it's it's just the rebound is, is set perfectly and uh, god i just don't know what it is but it, it's just it's just awesome guys The suspension, the, the travel is good, the rebound feels good. I would say I probably had a little buyer's remorse after I accepted and bought them. Now, I didn't pay full retail. I bought them used with about 1,200 miles on them. I paid less than 550 just to kind of give you an idea. However, I still had the buyer's remorse for spending such a, a large dollar amount on on a piece for the bike i shouldn't have had that reservation 
these things are incredible. Now, the difference between these and the Revo A's is the Revo A's do have a, a rebound control to kind of set it. But from what I read is that these Legends regular Revo's are set to about where a number three would have been on the Revo A's. So it's like, well, that's right in the middle. Let's go ahead and install them. If I don't like them, maybe I can get most of my money back and maybe buy a set of the others. Don't need to do that, ladies and gentlemen. This is just perfect. If you don't want to spend the extra $250 to get the, the A's, I don't think anyone can blame you. I really don't. And in all honesty, guys, I am not, I've said it before, I'm not a canyon carver. I do love a good twisty road, but I, I, I don't need my suspension, I guess, dialed in by me that well. I got my sag set, that's really, you know, it's made this ride so much more comfortable. Now they say a lot of your, you know, a lot of your turning upgrade occurs in the front, which that still could very well be, but I, there's a lot that happens in the rear here. Dude. <laughs> I mean, this thing, uh, it handles, guys, it handles real well, real well. And I just, you know, I have like a new sense of confidence leaning into things. This is, I know it's going to work. And all my other suspensions probably work just as well too, but that's a, they're, not, they're not working as well as this. <laughs> These are just a few of my initial impressions with the Legends. I'll probably do like maybe a year review on them at the end of the riding season to see how well my butt's held up over time, but I've been going, I've been going at the house for about 30 minutes right now. It feels like I just sat on the bike. Oh, look at that, I just hit a bump. Oh, I just hit another bump. Whatever. It don't matter. Bumps ain't nothing now. <laughs> Again, I hope you guys are enjoying the episode here today. Feel free to give me a like, subscribe, hit that bell icon for additional notifications. I do appreciate your continued support. And as always, I will see you on the dark side, as that is the way. Chopper Fett Senior.